Hello and welcome. Today, I'm your host, Dr. Freddy Garcia, and we are joined by the always amazing Professor Carrick. Dr. Carrick, how are you doing today? Good morning, Freddy. Is I doing great? Yourself? I'm fantastic, especially when I'm joined by you. This is a rare treat. Um, I, I decided to uh, hop on and do a quick interview with you because in January 11th through 13th, you were presenting TBI, Advancements in Diagnosis and Treatment, um, a three-day event. So I had a couple questions for you. Uh, the first question I had is, why did you take the time out of your busy schedule to create this? There's been such advances in concussion, traumatic brain injury over the last couple of years that if you're in the in the business of helping people with head injuries, you really just don't have time to keep up to date. There is so much that is happening. And as a consequence, <clears throat> we get calls at the Carrick Institute virtually every day, as you know, from people asking us, what can we do now? And there is a just an explosion in information. And as a consequence, we've been called to, to basically share that with people. So what we've done is we've put everything that is in the evidence base together that has been a change or an upgrade from what we've known even over the last year and put it together in a package uh, by doctors for doctors so that they'll be able to help their patients better. Fantastic. I, I know you've been credited for revolutionizing uh, the approach of clinicians around the world to concussion and TBI. So if this is an update on top of what you previously taught, this should be very exciting to a lot of the clinicians out there. Well, it's exciting to me because, uh, as you say, we did really have a big footprint. And, and really, you know, according to the media and the press, we've been in the spotlight for the last 40 years specific to this uh, type of treatment of traumatic brain injuries. We've had successes and failures, but by the large part, we have really seen the, you know, from celebrities to the person next door throughout our time. We have a responsibility, therefore, to, to even do it better. And in fact, today, I do it better than I did last year. And last year wasn't so, so very bad, but this year is just, it's just marvelous. So our goal with this uh, educational sharing is to allow physicians from all disciplines to be able to do things better than they could have done before in their service of, of humankind. So it really is a clinical applications lecture by clinicians for clinicians. Let me ask you this. Is this going to be one of those courses where you need a lot of fancy technology to be able to serve the patient at this level? Uh, I know a lot of doctors who study those who, who follow those with the functional neurology paradigm of care sometimes get um, a little scared of all this fancy equipment. Is this one of those courses? Uh, exactly not. Uh, in fact, what we're doing in this course, this is a hands-on course of what you're going to see at the bedside or on the field, for instance, or in the ring if you would, uh, when you're treating people with head injuries. The, the reality is, even for those clinicians that have the bells and whistles uh, to deal with, in the day-to-day -day activity of their patients, the bells and whistles aren't always on the patient. You need to be able to develop the skills of observation and interpretation of what you're seeing to be able to make a big difference. So this is, we're not gonna say bare bones, but it's about as naked to the truth as we can get in regards to giving clinicians the skills of observations to know what tests to do, how to do them without the bells and whistles. That's really central to this program. And really, it is the evidence base right now. The technology uh, sometimes hinders people. And uh, we're going to make sure that there's a mastery of skills, that the skill sets that you need to be able to help people will be available in this program. And we've got the, the educational model to ensure that people will have those skill sets and will be able not only to demonstrate them, but to know where they stand. For instance, it's good for you to know if what you're seeing is the same as what other trade people are seeing. Are you the only person that is stepping off with their left foot? Is everyone else wrong? Or uh, are you in sync? So we're going to uh, be able to give you that information. You're going to know where you stand, whether your observations are, boom, the same as everyone else's statistically, or whether you need a little more work. And if you do, we're going to show you your weaknesses and allow you to make those weaknesses strengths. 
So it sounds like to me, we're, we're going to, you're going to be really teaching clinicians how to approach this um, by giving them the skills to do it. Uh, yeah. Professor Carrick, um, is this going to be one of those courses where you're teaching like a specific algorithm to handle these types of patients? Or I guess my question is, is what, what can a doctor expect to go back to their clinic with on Monday? What's going to change their approach? Well, I wish there was an algorithm that would work to satisfy the needs of individuals with head injuries. There just isn't. It's too varied. It's too complex. So the answer is no, we're not going to give them an algorithm or a flowchart. But what we are going to give them is the skill sets to be able to go through in a very systematic uh, fashion an examination that is treatment based, which means to say the skills that are necessary to uh, devise a treatment plan that is specific for individual needs without the, the need, if you would, of of high technical equipment, but the ability to be able to quantify the outcomes of their treatment, to be able to look at that treatment from a statistical lens and know for sure whether or not you've made a significant change in an individual or whether you haven't. And that is the goal of what we're going to do in an interactive format. And uh, it's an exciting journey that should uh, be able to guarantee skill acquisitions that scholars would not be able to to get under ordinary uh, training types of experiences. And and uh, whenever you have an event, ordinary it it never is because I know you're meticulous in regard to the quality of the education that you are always teaching about, as well as the the Carrick Institute as a whole, but also the way you deliver the education with your longitudinal learning models. Uh, things that you've researched that all the universities that you that you uh, work with uh, delivers a better learning experience. So this should be another amazing event, again, presented by you. The event is January 11th through 13th, 2019, titled TBI Advancements in Diagnos uh, Diagnosis and Treatment. Professor Carrick, thank you so much for your time today. I know you're very busy, but I know this is going to help a lot of scholars out there and change the lives of even more patients. So thank you for your time today. I hope so. Thank you, Freddie. Thank you.